John 5:37 through 40 And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape and ye have not his word abiding in you for whom he hath sent him ye believe not search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life and they are they which testify of me and ye will not come to me that ye might have life recently i mentioned that god had spoken to me about something and the person i was talking to told me that i was deceived because god doesn't talk to people any more and we are supposed to read the bible to know god's will yes we absolutely need to read the Bible and learn what he has revealed to us through that. God does not change. So by knowing the Bible, we can discern whether the Spirit speaking to us is the Holy Spirit or a spirit of deception. Without knowing the Bible, you may well be deceived by the devil, who can disguise himself as an angel of light, according to 2 Corinthians 11.14. However, it's truly heartbreaking to live your whole life never hearing God speaking to you and denying that he ever will to such a degree that if he ever does you will run away thinking that it's the devil instead of God okay you want to read the Bible to see what it says okay let's read the Bible then John fifteen thirteen through 15 Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Many Christians don't like the word religion, because they say we have a relationship with God not a religion tell me what relationship consists of only one person speaking to the other while the other never answers relationships like that usually fall apart very quickly healthy relationships have two-way fellowship not one-way communication we cannot tell God anything he doesn't already know but he knows everything we don't so we are the ones who need to hear him not the other way around. John 10, 1 through 5. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door of the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out and when he putteth forth his own sheep he goeth before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice and the stranger will they not follow but will flee from him for they know not the voice of strangers if Jesus does not speak his sheep have no voice to follow not only the sheep of the fold that he had when he walked the earth in the flesh but also the sheep that he would bring into his fold in the future. That includes the sheep living now in our time, which includes you and me. We need to hear him to follow him. John 10:25 through 28 Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name they bear witness of me but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep as I said unto you my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand his sheep hear his voice not just read his words with their own voice but his sheep hear his voice Jesus does not say that they will ever, ever stop hearing his voice. Psalm 95, 7-9 For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. 
Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, and proved me, and saw my work. If you will hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Learn to listen to him. If you deny that he speaks, then you have hardened your heart, so you cannot hear his voice. Matthew 4, 1 through 4. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. How can we live by every word that proceeds from God's mouth if we deny that he still speaks? What, do you really think God has gone mute over the past 2,000 years? Jesus' words about the Holy Spirit. John 14:18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John 14:26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. John 15:26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. John 16:13 through 15 Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. The Holy Spirit has a vital job of teaching, not only reminding us of God's word, but also testifying of Jesus, and teaching us all things. And he will speak to us, and show us things to come. Jesus never once says that the Holy Spirit will ever stop speaking to God's people. Not ever. 1 Thessalonians 5.17-21 Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the Spirit. Despise not prophesyings. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. The Bible says not to quench the Spirit, not to despise prophesyings. And it says this while talking about prayer. Why? Because prayer is not one-way communication to God. It's two-way communication between God and man. God has the ability to respond to you. When you deny that, you quench the Spirit. We test and prove it based on Scripture, the written, revealed Word of God, to know whether it is God or not, because God will not contradict His revealed, written Word. Romans 8.16 The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. What loving father never speaks to his children? The Bible is said to be God's love letter to us, which is true. However, letters are for a long-distance relationship. But God is with us. When love is real, communication will not end once the letter is sent. So we should not expect his communication with us to end with the completion of the Bible either. The idea that God doesn't speak to people anymore comes from a misunderstood passage of Scripture. 
I have a video to explain that passage of scripture and I will share it on the end screen. Jesus' sheep hear his voice. So if you have never heard his voice, it may be because you are not one of his sheep. If you are ready to become one of his sheep, that starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it and turning to Jesus for forgiveness and salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you have ever wished you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you hear Jesus speak to you.